All right, so that is going to take us to Peppermint Kisses. Peppermint Kisses, Vicky's brand new, Vicky, Vicky Boone, uh, Vicky's brand new Christmas or holiday collection for this year. So we're going to now spend the rest of our time looking at this beautimous uh, collection. So starting with the paper pad, you have 36 sheets, six by eight. Everything is double-sided, so lots of patterns. This, like kind of your classic um, poinsettia, right, with a kind of a dark black background. Dark black, you know what I mean? Beautiful, beautiful. I haven't looked at this yet. You saw I just opened it. Um, a nice contrast, uh, contrasting base pattern. Love that candy cane stripe. Uh, did I say you get two sheets each of 18? I think I did. A good kind of red wood grain. Love that, that little kind of half circle of the stars. A green check. Oh, that's fun. Kind of music or notes. This would be great for making a list on, right? With all those lines. A green or teal wood grain. Love that. The Merry Christmas words. Ooh, that's a fun check. Kind of reminds you of Vans, right? Kind of reminds you of Vans. Sprinkle with cards. Hi, Sprinkle with cards. Hello, New Year. Welcome, welcome to you. Wednesday nights when I am um, not traveling and when I have new stuff to show, this is what we do, a little show and tell. Uh, and in the description box of the video, you have a link to what I'm showing you. Love that green plaid. And it's, uh, what I like about the green in this collection, It, um, I mean, it's definitely Christmas or can be Christmas, doesn't have to be, but it's also kind of a brighter, uh, not your kind of traditional, green. It works for traditional Christmas, um, but also is a little bit brighter. Another uh, green wood grain. Love those pink snowflakes. The red check. Oh, look at that. The um, the trees, the trees, the snow trees. My, my mouth is not quite ready yet for explaining Christmas things, right? It's searching for the words. Oh my goodness, goodness, dark green, there you go. That's more of a like a traditional green, Christmas green. Love that ledger. Teal, oh, look at that, isn't that fun? You saw, there's all different colors of those checks. So good. This is a great one too, all those holiday words. Capture the joy, making memories, fresh snow, twinkling, twinkling lights, happy new year, uh, oh, what fun. Mm-hmm, we seeing a pattern here? Look at, look at the wood grain. In between the wood grain, you have the checks on all the B-sides. The uh, little ornaments there. Dark green. Uh, stars, a wood. That's fun little polka dot. The blue, like there's every color of the rainbow of those. And what's fun about these guys, um, a lot of times we look at Christmas products and go, well, I can only use that for Christmas. Well, definitely not. Look at all of those checks could be used for anything, even though kind of wood grain could be used for anything as well. There is a very faint background there of music with the red circles. Love that one too, kind of the greenery. The hexagons. And then you have a sheet of three by four cards and a sheet of little small tags. And then those um, 18 repeat again. So. Uh, 36 sheets double-sided of that. Oh, then we have the thickers. So thickers, there are two six by 12 sheets. These are called Ho Ho Ho. Two six by 12 sheets. This Most of this is Vicky's handwriting. Love all the big words, right? All those big words. And then you have all these pops of color, like those little stars, pops of color. Um, it looks like puff art. Did you guys used to do that on t-shirts and things and, and then it would puff up? Did we put it in the oven? No, I don't think so. Those were shrinky dinks. Anyhow, looks like puff, puff paint pens, puffer paint, something like that. Anyhow, those look like little puffer paints. So great words for the holidays. Well, I'll just put them both down like there and then you can see both of them. Very large ho, 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 magic moment, wonderful life, holiday wishes, sweet memories, cheerful Christmas document, loads and loads and loads. Sprinkle with cards says love Christmas in July. Oh, speaking of Christmas in July, uh, while I'm putting this away and getting ready to grab the next thing out, Christmas in July right now on my website. Two things. Um, when you go to the website, you'll see a banner there, right? The homepage, 
uh, that talks about two different things. One is a sale on last year's Christmas and winter. So if you click that, um, then you'll see all the last year's Christmas and winter that is on sale. Uh, then also on that same banner, there's a little coupon code as part of Christmas in July for $5 off your purchase of 25 or more. So if you haven't used that yet this month, uh, both of those things will end midnight July 31st or 11.59. So make sure to do that and check those out. Um, all right, next up, the stencil pack. So three six by eight stencils. You have, I don't even know how to describe that pattern. Um, kind of snowflakey, evergreen-ish snowflakes, I guess. Uh, that one would be, oh, this is like your classic Nordic, like Norwegian, right? Um, kind of that Nordic Norwegian pattern that you see uh, in the winter and a lot of things. And then that beautiful plaid, if you wanted to uh, make your own plaid with, um, like with your, you know, inks and your blending tools and all of those fun things. Okay, before we get into all the ephemera, uh, let's look at these guys. These, and Vicki has been doing these for the last couple of years um, with her Christmas collections and also some of her other collections as well. Look at these little tassels with shaker charms. Okay, so you have gold, your little tassel, and then each of those little guys on each tassel, there's little um, like iridescent confetti in there. Do you see that? So you've got kind of a little shaker charm on there. Those are great for adhering to the uh, little elastics either on your traveler's notebook or a lot of times I will adhere um, these guys uh, on the edges um, or the edge of my like December daily, December documented mini book every year. Just kind of give the spine a little bit of decoration. So those are the tassel charms. Um, what's that on your table? Is that a mat? Sprinkle with cards, it is. So um, when I was, do, when we were doing our listing with Lael on Saturday, I had a very small striped mat here that I was trying to do my inking and stuff on because I didn't want to accidentally drop a, an ink pad on my new countertop. And Terry Leto um, said, hey, Ikea has um, these semi, they're kind of um, opaque, right? A little bit opaque, um, these mats, in the, in the office section at Ikea. So you can kind of see, a little bit opaque, um, not quite see-through, but this is a great work surface. So that's what that is. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, so I went on Sunday. <laughs> I went on Sunday, I dragged Nick with me. He was not real happy. He doesn't really like Ikea because you know, you can get lost in there for hours. Um, oh yeah, and then the new surface is that, right? That's my new tabletop. All right. Um, uh, Kristen, Kristen said, yeah, don't make the mistake like I did and place a good size order today and forgot to put the code in for that $5 off. Kristen, just email me, okay? If you email me, then um, I will do that. I can take it off, but I won't remember unless you email me. Okay, next up, we have the sticker book. So eight sheets. Uh, these have gold foil accents. So some of the pieces have gold foil accents. Look at that station wagon. I love that so much. Um, if you can kind of see, there's a little Santa, a little like silhouette of Santa driving. Uh, so these are five by seven-ish sheets. Really great, um, good size, nice set of numbers, black and white circles, labels, a whole sheet of word strips in different colors, more little labels. Oh, look at those. Aren't those cool? Uh, so there's a lot of your gold foil accents, but love both of those especially those kind of ribbon strips with the gold accents going through them. Okay, that is the sticker book. And, oh yes, let's go here. Let's go here next. Uh, I love, I always, always, always love the papery in the collections. Um, so let's open this little guy up. This is the papery. And if you are not familiar with the papery, American Craft started doing these about a year ago in a number of their collections. And um, there are 200 pieces in here. There are a combination of um, paper pieces. So things like this. Um, these, are, these are thin. They are not meant to be die cuts, okay? They're not die cuts, they're thin paper, papery. Uh, but look at the sizes on those, good size. That is uh, about six inches, I bet that's four by six. It is four by six. 
You also also have multiples, okay? You'll have, I think, two. I wanna say you'll have two of each of the um, pieces in here. So there's beautiful, uh, lots of the different size um, poinsettias. Oh, look at these. And look at the scale on that, you guys. That's what makes Vicky so good. Vicky's one of us. Vicky's a crafter, so she uses all of this. So she's got a really good feel for the scale that we need, uh, a mixture of things um, in her paper pads and the papers that she does. There's a really good balance between patterns that you can use for layering, so really simple patterns, and then patterns that have a lot of things going on, but you need a good balance. So she gets us um, because she's one of us, which is so awesome, but I love the scale, the size of those guys. Um, lots of leaves, bows, and there's just so many. Ooh, look at that one. Flight ticket. Sleigh ride passenger number seven, authorized by Chris King Kringle. Just so many good pieces in here. So um, if you have friends that you craft with, you could take a box of papery since there's two of everything. You could split it up between you and your little friend or keep it all for yourself. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, um, look at this. Let's just pretend that this is a list that we're going to be making. Oh, or like this, look at Think about Traveler's Notebook insert. Look at that, like in your list. That is a, an envelope that the bottom part has been die cut. So you can slide that little piece in right there. Isn't that so, so fun? Um, I'm just discovering all of this live with you guys because I haven't opened up any of it yet. Uh, holiday wish list. Oh, what a fun retro Santa. Again, so, so many things in here. Now, there are two types of different things in the papery. So we've looked at a lot of the paper pieces, but then you have washi stickers. So for example, this is a washi sticker and I can tell, I can feel the surface of that feels different than say like this. I can tell that's paper, but I can tell this is a washi sticker. What I mean by a washi sticker, uh, let's grab, oh, we'll grab Noel. We move that out of the way for one sec and bring my little pad back in here. Uh, washi sticker, so I'm going to peel away the backing. Okay, peel away the backing. I'm going to put it on this just so you can see what I mean by washi sticker. Okay, do you see how it's um, a little bit transparent or translucent? You can see those hearts underneath. So, washi sticker, thin, translucent, not completely translucent, right? Not clear, but translucent so you can kind of see what is underneath it. Uh, so your um, package of the paper rate will give you a very good balance between paper, pierce, paper pieces. So paper pieces would be all of these. And then your washi stickers would be all of these little guys below. Okay, lots of words and stars and circles and things like that. So that is the paper rate. And Vicki now has in all of her collections, all of her collections, I wanna say maybe the last year, uh, doing the papery, which is awesome. This one I loved so much when I saw it. This is the goodie bag. I will tell you, those of you that do my December documented mini book, look a little scatters taking a nap. Uh, my December documented mini book project kit with me every year. This is in my kit this year because I loved it so much. Um, by the way, uh, all that product has been ordered for months. So it's all starting to roll in. So let's look at these guys. Uh, what's so unique about this goodie bag is that it is a mixture of die cuts and acetate pieces, okay? Look at acetate piece right there. Do you see how um, that's a gold foil, but then you can kind of see the clear acetate around it. And then also vellum pieces. So that is vellum, right? Aren't those so fun? Look at all these acetate pieces your greenery and your goldery, your greenery and your goldery, uh, words, more greenery, that's blackery, blackery, greenery, goldery, uh, a little bit of your vellum pieces, that's so fun. So I will be using um, this in my, as, as we get closer to Christmas, obviously the holidays, I will be using this pack in my lists, but I will also, oh, that little guy got torn. I will also be um, using this in my December documented project, mini book project kit this year. Um, so, so, so good. Love the mixture of the vellum, the acetate, clear, right? Clear plastic pieces. 
And then, you know, your traditional, not your traditional old die cuts, but like, look at these guys. Look at that gold foil on both of those pieces. So that is the goodie bag. And talk about goodie, right? That is a lot of goodie in there. Okay. Then we have, and we saw Vicky do these in uh, Where To Next in her travel collection. These are clips. Let's do this. Let's, oh, I grabbed some little ones somewhere. Maybe that's the one I grabbed. Oh, sorry for that noise. Um, hi, Aunt Recreates, just arriving. Hope I haven't missed too much. Guess what? The beauty is you can always go back and watch the replay of whatever you missed at the beginning. Okay, so clips. There are 30 pieces in here, and you have a combination of die cut clips. Okay, a um, little bit thicker than regular die cut. All right, a little bit thicker than a regular die cut. You have die cut pieces, and then you also have the clear acetate pieces. Like, look at that. That's part of her logo, right? That, um, that uh, little candy piece, peppermint kiss, I guess that's what that is. And then look at, you also get like an added bonus. You get all these little acetate U's uh, because they come out of the little clip, <laughs> the little U's, yeah. Um, so that'll give you a good feel for, I just love the acetate ones. I think, look at the vibrant color on that. I mean, the coloring on that is just so bright and vibrant. Gotta love that. And then you'll see more of the little, your little um, cardstock pieces. Again, those are a little bit thicker. Those will be thicker than like, they're thicker than your regular die cuts, peppermint kisses, so fun. So stars and circles and shapes and, oh, these are good too, look at these. Those little, um, little heart clips. And again, look at these. That, nothing about that says Christmas, nothing about that says Christmas. So definitely Christmas holiday, but, pieces that you can work into your other projects as well. Even celebrate, look at celebrate. Works for lots of different things. Karen said not sure how to use those clips though. Okay, let's talk about that for a second, Karen. Uh, let me let me just find what I'm looking for behind me. Okay, how about this? Now, this obviously would not go with any of this, but um, let's talk about a couple ways. Let me see if I have something in here that, that would work. Let's talk about a couple different ways that you could use these pieces. So this little piece that says festive. Um, obviously any of these you can put at the top of your page, any page um, in a traveler's notebook like this. But if you had a, let's say you had a 12 by 12 scrapbook page um, and this is your photo, right? This will be your photo. That can just clip right to clip, right? Slide right underneath the top of your photo. So it looks like a fun clip, but it's, you know, paper, so that's a way. Could also work sideways, right? And there we go. So that, any of your words could work sideways in addition to uh, from up above. You could, let's see if I have, I need to find a, one with a pocket here. Do I have one with a pocket? Mm -hmm. Another idea, okay, hang on. Let me grab another one here. Maybe this one has a pocket. I've got all these traveler's notebooks behind me. I just need to find one with a pocket. Here's another idea. Uh, instead of like here, I used, um, I stamped that clip and then adhered it to the top, but that could just slide right there. So I could have, I guess that's kind of like what we saw before. Like if that was a photo or um, on your list that just could, tuck right in there. What's fun about the acetate pieces is that you don't see, uh, like these, I mean, it's just part of the decorativeness, but these you see the color, but the clear acetate, when you uh, um, put them somewhere, you don't see the color. So it just kind of looks like this really fun, clear thing. Uh, Karen said, I like the top side of the page idea. Yeah, so there's just a couple things. Um, as we start to get into Christmas, let me, let me look for one more thing I wanted to show you. As we start to get towards Christmas, into Christmas, well, when we start doing our holiday list, um, I will use those. Oh, here's another idea. This is what I was looking for. So this is a pocket, right? My photo slid in that pocket, but I could also do something like this. Let me get the little U out. Where that little guy just slides right onto my pocket. So if we were to put that back in like that, there's my little photo and there's my little, well, it just came up, but there's my little clip on the pocket like that. 
It'd be fun with library cards too, kind of in your, you know, in your little library card pocket. Okay, so those are the die cut paper clips. Mixture of acetate pieces, um, let's see, five, eight, 13 pieces, and then your little cardstock pieces along the bottom. Okie dokies. Next up, ooh, let's go into the um, die cut packs. So two different die cut packs, and these would be different than the goodie bag, right? The goodie bag were die cuts also, but um, those were a different kind of die cut because you had regular die cuts, you had the vellum die cuts, and then you also had the, um, the uh, acetate die cut. So this is the Icons pack, 50 pieces in the Icons pack. And again, the scale on these, you guys, because Vicki gets us, right? Look at some of those pieces where we need them to be a little bit bigger. Look how fun those houses are. Now that's a little bit wide for a traveler's notebook uh, page. Would be great on a 12 by 12 layout, but guess what? If I just take my little scissors and cut right there, now it's a great width for my traveler's notebook. Um, fun little gingerbread, um, a little stained glass church window, and look at this. It actually opens up, as does the door. Look at that. This would be a really fun kind of deck the halls idea. Um, I don't want to, well, if I, I would, I would grab my scoreboard and score that right there so the door could open. I'm gonna give a little photo behind there as kind of an intro to maybe some of my favorite Christmas decorations list and that's, here's the house. Um, these, oh my gosh, there's so many. There's so many pieces here. Oh, look at our fun Santa, a stack of presents ice skates, oh look, those work us right into winter. Ice skates and um, mittens. Oh, look, a little, another Santa. So um, a representative Santa of maybe a couple of different ethnicities there. Um, more presents. Oh, look how fun that is, the stockings. So many, oh, look at, and there's that one that we love so much. See with the little Santa silhouette on the inside, he's waving. Um, all right, so those are, look at, I, again, haven't looked at these either. This is the first time I'm opening. So fun. Uh, those are some of the bigger die cuts that are part of uh, the Icons die cut pack. Then we have all of these smaller ones. Such good, good, the colors. Oh my goodness, look at the little mouse. No creature was, not a, no. Creature, no creatures were stirring, not even a mouse. That's not quite right. I'd have to go through the whole thing in my head, but there's the mouse, right? Uh, some more ornaments, some more greenery. Merry Christmas, Christmas tree, capture the joy, couple stockings. So what's fun about this collection too, oh again, look at these things now could work into your winter, so they don't have to be um, Christmas. A nice oh, little nutcracker, Santa riding the bicycle. What a cute Santa. Um, now I don't even remember what I was gonna say before. It was something, I don't know. Oh, I know, I was saying the color palette. Uh, so the color palette, you have nice red and green traditional, right? Then you have some pink and teal, and then you have some yellows and blues, so it's really a good um, representative um, Lots of different colors in that color palette. This, look at the cardinal. I saw my first cardinal in my life ever when I was with Vicki uh, last month, last month, yeah, in June, uh, in a place called Niagara-on-the-Lake. I'd never seen a cardinal before. And oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. So beautiful. Hadn't seen a cardinal before, so I was very excited to see a cardinal. Um, all right, the um, second to the last thing that we'll look at, these are the journaling die cut ephemera. So 50 pieces here, yes, Nancy said, beautifully designed, Aunt recreates, it's such a cute collection. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So here are the bigger pieces again, look at these, the scale, they're so nice. So this is, just to give you an idea, that is five by three, three by five piece. So um, all of these pieces that I'm pulling out are nice size. Keep calm and deck the halls. Special delivery. Oh, that's a good one, party time. That, isn't that beautiful, making a list? Fab, fab, yule, lus, love that. Lots of words and little banners. Some tickets. Oh, that's a good one too, look at. 
uh, that wreath of stars. Look at, there's our little envelope again and smart, 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 die cut. So we could take, mm, that's too big. I know, we'll get one of our smaller pieces here in a sec. That's a fun frame. Those will cut apart, so you'd have all those little banners. You know what would be cute here? Would be to um, take some string or twine and separate each of those, cut each of those apart, and then kind of make a little banger, banger, banner, and this is how that happened. Banner, and those are hanging, <laughs> banger. The banner and the pieces are hanging from your string or twine or whatever, oh my goodness. Um, all right, let's look at the smaller ones. So these are the journaling die cuts or journaling ephemera. Move that off to the side just so we can take a look at a couple of these guys. Oh, those are fun. Kind of some like slides, little slide frames. Aha, so here's a piece that would work just for, for pretend, but look at that little piece slides right into our little envelope. So cute, so, so cute. I don't know, that Vicky's pretty awesome. She's pretty awesome, I don't know how, cozy. I don't know how she keeps coming up with stuff, but she does. She does, the details, wishes, Christmas magic. My people, cheers. Okay, so many pieces. So those were the um, journaling die cuts, 50 pieces to be exact. All right, so last but not least, we're going to take a look at the washi. So, um, as I did with um, the new rock washi rolls that I showed at the beginning, I will um, take a strip of each of these and put them down, and then I will bring uh, the notebook, or my little, my little well-used uh, composition notebook there that I use for my stamping and for putting the washi in so we can see it. Um, I'll bring it up to the camera then so that you can see. Uh, Nancy loves the envelopes. Kristen, thank you. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Yes. <laughs> close, but no cigar ladle. I was close. Uh, Nancy McKin no, Nancy Mars said I love the envelopes. Nancy McKinnis said, there are cardinals flying around my house all the time. Just worried my Brittany Spaniel will catch one. Oh, she's always getting birds in our small backyard. Love the cardinals and the blue jays. Yes. Um, Nancy, I hope that your, that your dog um, does not get one, but you know, sometimes that happens. Um, our cat that passed away, um, Poe, uh, he would catch little birds in our backyard and then he would bring them to the back door for us. Um, that's how cats show their love to you. They bring you things like that and you're like, oh, thank you. Couldn't you just sit on my lap and purr? That'd be a much better way of showing your love to me. Although um, he had lost a bunch of his teeth. So when he brought the bird to the back door, um, we were able to get the bird out and the bird flew away. So that was, a, that was I guess, a win-win for everyone. Uh, he showed his appreciation to us and then the bird was able to fly away. Um, look at the reindeer, isn't that cute? Uh, Nancy said that composition notebook is a favorite of mine, such a great keepsake, just all the pieces, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, I mean, I have to show you this right now. Look at this, um, do you see that? Uh, there are little mice, little mice with bows on uh, in the background of that washi tape. Isn't that so fun? Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Although those, those mice are very clearly stirring. Their eyes are open. Their eyes are open. Um, let's see. Aunt Recreates. On Saturday, you mentioned a tray or organizer you were getting from Ikea for your distress oxides. What was the name of that again? Uh, it's called the Cavissel. K-V-I-S-S-E-L. The Cavissel. Um, I've been using one for quite a while to store my ink and I got another one. Um, our local Ikea was out of it, so I was just able to order it online. Um, there is a blog post on my website. If you search for ink storage um, on the website, then that should come up, that blog post, and it'll, you'll see how I use that to store my inks. Uh, speaking of my dear friend, Vicki Booten, uh, she gave me the idea. A uh, couple of years ago, that's how she had started storing her inks. And uh, I said, oh my gosh, love that. I am going to do the same. And it's been a great way. But I have so many inks now, and now I have room for another one. So I have the two stacked on top of each other. So when I do um, my little studio tour, uh, I will show you. Um, I'll, show, I'll show that as part of it. But in the meantime, you could go see that on the blog. 
Um, Nancy, finches, sparrows, chipmunks, and a squirrel. Able to save the squirrel and chipmunks. I was unable to save the bird, sadly. Oh, darn it, Nancy. Um, our other cat, our, um, we had Poe and Q at the same time, and Q was quite the, um, Q was quite the uh, hunter, I guess. Yes, and uh, probably been maybe six years ago now, uh, brought a squirrel to the back porch. Yeah, um, and squirrels are a little bit, at least a little bit larger than a bird. So um, that was before the whole squirrel thing kind of came into play for me. So, but imagine your surprise when you open up the back door and there's a squirrel. Uh, no longer, um, the squirrel has crossed the rainbow bridge, if you know what I mean. All right, this one is, I think, my favorite of the washi. And again, I will, um, I will bring all these up to the camera, but this is a vertical, those numbers, one through 31. Okay, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls of washi in varying heights or varying widths. The largest is the, um, the reindeer, little bambies. And then uh, these two are the neck size. These three are the neck size. You have a little teeny skinny guy. Love that, uh, just with a little writing on it. And then um, this one too, kind of translucent, right? Translucent or transparent, those little peppermint candies. So they're on a white background, translucent, but you can't see it. So it looks like you just have all these little candies placed there. Um, this one definitely works for non-holiday, right? Uh, that pink is a great just kind of washy to mix in your stash with uh, lots of other things. Even that guy, even the green, put with the right combination uh, with something else um, would not be uh, too Christmassy at all. 